The biggest decision for the Vikings in this offseason is how they stitch together the fabric of what was a 13 and 4 playoff team a year ago with the reality that based upon age, cap numbers, money, there's going to be some transition on the roster. So is 2023 an extension of what happened last season? Is this a bit of a reboot year? That's going to influence all the decisions on all the veteran players that they've got to uh, figure out here in the coming weeks. Biggest decision for the Vikings in the offseason is finding the personnel to fit Brian Flores' vision for the defense. Brian Flores is super aggressive on defense. He wants to heat you up. He wants to bring pressure. But the only way to do it, you have to have corners in the back end that can cover, and you have to have enough rushers up front. So can you get the personnel to match what Brian Flores wants to do defensively? The biggest decision is probably corner, safety, maybe anything to do with defensive backs, probably corner. From my viewpoint, the biggest offseason decision the Vikings have to make this year is what to do with Dalvin Cook, their running back, who is a tremendous player, sensational. I love the idea of when he was in his prime and really doing his work, that they brought in Alexander Madison to back him up and said, this is who we are as an offense. But now the offensive identity has definitely shifted to the perimeter, and everything runs through number 18, Justin Jefferson, and rightly so. But the number that you're going to pay out Dalvin Cook is that the decision you want? Is that the right guy for you? Can you get him at a different number? That's a good big question to me for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, the biggest decision for the Vikings this offseason, I think, is where to start on addressing this defense. The defense has to get better. Uh, do you want to start on the back end with that improvement at the corner position, uh, at the safety position, or do you want to go up front and, and try and get an impact pass rusher? So the decision of where to start offense, defense is easy. Then it gets a little bit more difficult whether you start up front or you start in the back. The biggest offseason decision, in my opinion, for the Vikings is what is the long-term future at the quarterback position? Is it going to continue to be Band-Aid deals with Kirk Cousins, or is there going to be a plan for something more permanent, something more lasting, something that carries the team through the end of this decade and beyond? Um, I mean, I don't know how much of a decision it will be, but... You know, signing Justin Jefferson to his big-time extension will be the most important thing they do. I mean, you know, if Kirk Cousins gets another extension, moving some money around, or, you know, another year that's somewhat similar to this past year, like, okay, like, I think that's fine. To me, you know, Justin Jefferson's one of the best players, you know, the best player on the team, one of the best players in the league. He's going to get a massive extension at some point. I don't know when, but when that gets done, I think will probably be, um, you know, will probably outweigh everything else in significance. That's a great question. I think the youth movement, I think that's the area where they could look to go. And they have a lot of intriguing options on the defensive side. Brian Asamoa, the linebacker who they drafted last year from Oklahoma, he showed some strides when he got some playing time. But also at cornerback, they have some intriguing players too. Andrew Booth Jr. coming off of the injury. Also, Caleb Evans is another player that they seem to be excited about. I think the biggest decision for the Vikings this offseason, same as last year, it's the Kirk Cousins and do you plan for the quarterback of the future because I think at his contract right now you've seen that it's just difficult to build a roster around him that's championship caliber it's difficult to compete with the you know Mahomes of the world the guys high end at the position so do you continue to roll down this road extend him whatnot or do you make some forward-looking decisions at the quarterback position whether it's the draft or via trade. 